back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe InDesign CS6. I will be showing you how to wrap text around images within your project. So in a lot of projects, uh, it may require you to have text and images coincide within the same page. Actually, it's going to happen pretty much primarily majority of the time. But a lot of times you want the text and the images to work well together. And in order to not have the page look so blocky where you just have certain areas of text and then image and then text and then image. You may want a text box that wraps around an image or a graphic or a symbol or whatever it may be. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and get you a text box. Go ahead and create a text box on your page or project and go ahead and have that text box where you want it. Go ahead and insert the text that you want to insert. As you see here, I've got some text that is about uh, dogs here written in my project. And I also have a funny picture of a dog over here to the right. Once you have your text the way you want it on your document, you need to do a few things. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and get the image that you want to work with with this text in your document. So go ahead and go up to File, go to Place, and then find that image on your computer. In my case, it is right here on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that because I already have the image here. Once all of that is done, you're going to want to go up to Window all the way down until you see text wrap. Now once you click on this and you see the check mark, you should see the text wrap options on the right or left or wherever it may be. We're going to go into this a little more detail in one minute. So what you want to do is go ahead and place your image on top of the text box or beside it depending on how you want the text to wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and place this image here inside the text box. As you see here, that text went ahead and jumped down here, and it also is up here. So what happened is, once my image was placed on top of this text box, because I have text wrap set up, it allows the text to wrap around my image. So what you want to see here, if it's set to no text wrap, what will happen is the image will just be placed here, and the text will either be in front or behind the image, depending on how you have the text and image arranged. So in order to have your image and text to wrap, what you're going to want to do on your text wrap options, you have a few options. Wrap around a bounding box, wrap around an object or shape, jump object, or jump to next column. So don't worry about these last two. What you want to do is wrap around object shape. Once you click on that third option of wrap around the object shape, you should see some text wrap happening within your project. Once you have done that and you have selected the wrap around object or shape option here, as I have already stated, you should see some text wrap happening here. Now, there are a few other options that you can play with to kind of make your object or project look a little better. If you notice here, we have a, a option here to change the margin. So what this does is if there's any text on the right or left side, it will go ahead and increase or decrease the amount of space in between the image and the text. Now, if we went up here and selected wrap around bounding box, which is the second option. This will now allow us not to only adjust the left and right margins, but the top and bottom. So go ahead and select wrap around the bounding box. Now if I go up here and I increase this bounding box here, what this will do is it will increase the amount of space that is going to be between my image and my text. So really what it's doing is the, the box, the bounding box that it is referring to is the box around your image. Now the more that I increase that box, obviously, the more space I'm going to be seeing with between my image and my text. Now I normally leave that right around, you know, I would say seven or eight. That way it gives you a nice clean look around your image. Now you have a couple wrap options here. It says wrap to both right and left sides, just the right side, just the left side. So why would you need that? Let's say I have an image over here that I want to go all the way down the page and I want my text to be right here. So what that will mean is I only want my text to wrap around the right side and not both the right and left side. So then you have right side, left side, right and left side, then side towards spine, side away from spine, and the largest area. So you can play with these options and see which one best fits your project. So guys, again, 
This has been an InDesign tutorial on how to wrap text around images. There are so many more things you can do within this text wrap option. This is just the very, very basics of that. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment box below. As always, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe this on these videos. It does help me out, and I will see you guys next time.